By now, most registered voters in Massachusetts have received a postcard about voting by mail in the primary election next month. Anybody can vote by mail. No excuse needed, no questions asked. But after we got a couple of questions about this process from you, we decided to take a closer look at how it'll work. This is the postcard that went to every voter in the state. Inside, there's this application to receive a ballot by mail. In June, nice Governor the Charlie Edwards Baker here. signed the Votes Act into law, making voting by mail and early voting permanent in Massachusetts. This gives voters an option, which they should have. Why should they be per limited to a certain period of time? But Secretary of the Commonwealth Bill Galvin's office is now rushing to implement the law before the primary election, which is the day after Labor Day, September 6th. He says anyone who thinks they might need a mail ballot should apply. The deadline to do so is August 29th. If a voter says, well, I think I might be going away or I might be concerned about my health or whatever reason, and then they later choose, well, you know, I think I want to vote in person. They can still do so as long as the ballot has not been returned. Galvin says there is a typographical error in these highlighted lines, which say, quote, if you prefer to vote in person, you can still vote at your polling place on Election Day, followed by apply soon. He says there's a line break missing between those two sentences. There is no need to apply if you don't want a mail-in ballot. Maybe the, gram the grammatical layout was not as best, as good as it could be. But the point is you don't, if you're on the voter list, you don't, and you don't want to use this, you don't have to apply. You're on the voters list, you're eligible to vote. And again, his office has only had a couple of weeks to put this together. So if you're not a member of a party, you do need to choose which party's primary ballot you would like sent. And by the way, early voting in person, that will also still be an option. That's also mandatory. If you've got a consumer story for me, you can email me. The address is ben at wcvb.com.